hi guys welcome back to my channel my lovelies so today i will be using the celestial tarot guys and i'm really sorry for yesterday's long intro today i will be just giving you a two minutes um intro about this deck and how i use it and what are the rituals that i perform before using this deck okay so if you're using the celestial tarot you can perform these uh, rituals or these things to kind of enhance the experience of the readings and the readings will be more accurate okay so as you can see here i have a bowl which is filled with rain water guys you can yesterday it was raining in my place so i kind of collected some rain water and if you uh, if you can collect a rain water you can collect because this uh, deck really works well okay and i have also added some salt and outside of it and i have like just kept it overnight under the moonlight okay and the celestial deck over here if you can see this deck was inspired from the greek mythology guys okay the, and the every deck has a story of its own like it has a story from the greek mythology most of the names can also be like what to say most of the names that are written on this deck are also like greek names so if you are familiar with the greek mythology and if you like uh, exploring more about it you can you can get this deck guys and also another thing about this deck is that you can connect deeply with the greek gods and with the greek goddesses if you uh, and yes guys just before starting the reading with this deck you can pray to the greek god and goddesses to kind of help you with the reading so that they can help you to kind of channel uh, channel the messages on your own and yes that is it about these gods guys and another thing about uh, this deck is that guys if you feel this deck is too powerful if you feel somewhat weird working with this deck then you can also like keep some crystals near you light a candle or like keep a bowl of salt near you or wear a salt pendant or if you do such things like if you keep the environment like that with crystals and salt and everything guys the energy will get absorbed into that and it won't affect too much so these are all of the tips that i have for you all now let us start the reading guys my lovelies hi guys welcome back to my channel my lovely aquarius so this is going to be your daily reading aquarius for your general energies and also for your love energies aquarius so let us see what is coming up for your general energies aquarius and then we will be moving on towards your love energies aquarius okay so what is coming up for your general energies aquarius we have the nine of cups this is for your general energies your love energies and for your person's love energies so with the nine of cups you're just one step away from that emotional fulfillment and definitely you know what i'm talking about guys you know that you're um, fulfilled emotionally you're kind of like working towards this emotional fulfillment you do have a lot of feelings that you want to express with the people around you and you're kind of doing it for a reason is what i'm getting here you do have a reason for walking a certain way and i definitely see that everything will go according to your expectations everything is going to manifest just like you wanted it to be you just have you're just one step away from your goal okay so 
if you want to reach your goal keep being persistent keep going towards your goals and you will achieve it in no time okay so that is what i'm getting here guys if you're not going to keep going towards your goals if you're not going to be persistent working hard to manifest your goals then it is really hard to get that ten of cups energy but if you want that ten of cups energy you need to work and show the universe that you deserve it okay so that is the uh, energy that i'm getting here guys your general energies for your love energies what i can see here for you is that for the prince of cups it's like you're giving out too much energy and you're not getting that much love you're giving too much love to this person but you can kind of like not getting much love or the energies can be vice versa it feels like you're not giving anything but you're giving to that uh, but you're getting too much love from this person or there is no mutual love in this connection guys and that kind of feels awkward for you okay and you just want to stay with a person who can give you this mutual love situation and yes guys that is what i'm getting here so all i can see here for you guys for your person's love energies is that like this is really making them mad like they're the one who is doing all the work and it's like you're not putting in the effort into this connection and they're the only one who's putting in a lot of effort into this connection and yes so yes guys this is all i can see here and you just need to understand to give a love to this person to kind of like expect this similar kind of love from them okay so give and uh expect love so you don't have to just like not give and ex keep expecting because it is not going to come back please make sure that you give love and this is also for your person's energies guys okay and the energies can be vice versa so take it as it resonates so this is all i can see here for you guys now so Thank you all so much for watching my lovely Aquarius. Bye guys. See you all tomorrow Aquarius. Bye guys.